channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about WGU and me on the journey of becoming a teacher. So currently I am a preschool teacher. And then before that, I was a long-term substitute teacher in Vicenza, Italy. And I absolutely love it. Um, I've been a preschool teacher for a while in uh, different locations and whatnot. So I made it a point to actually go back to school and I'm gonna finish my degree. We gonna finish it, just watch. So I'm gonna go over the first impressions of WGU, which is Western Governors University. And um, just talk to you about how I'm preparing for my first day of my first term, which starts in a few days, April 1st. 2020 so let's start so first things first um, I applied um, I took a couple of courses on what's with Western Governors uh, Academy and I took four classes I took English comp one uh, intro to communications US history and intro to biology I finished those four classes in two months and then I transferred those classes over to WGU and um, yeah, got the ball rolling and I start on the first. So um, my course, what is it called? Enrollment counselor. My enrollment counselor her name was Brianna. She was amazing. She, we talked a lot. And um, once it was time for me to send over my courses from university, she was on top of it because I was worried that my stuff wasn't going to get in in time for me to start in April and I would have to wait until May and I just didn't want to do that. But she stayed on top of it. She called me every day, not every day, one, at least once a week to give me some updates like, hey, you know, this didn't come back yet. So I'm going to put in a ticket for this and we're going to do this X, Y, and Z. Long story short, she handled her thing and now I'm here. So then after that you get a once you get accepted get your financial aid and everything together oh and i'm gonna put the price for uh the courses not the courses but the terms okay first of all rewind wgu goes by terms and their terms are six months long and within those six months you have to sign up for at least uh 12 cus which is they're called competency units but it's basically like credit hours but they call them competency units so typically that'd be four classes. So you have to enroll in at least four classes and you can finish those classes as fast or as slow as you want. And after you're done with those four classes, you don't have to wait until your next term. You can just keep adding more so you can accelerate and finish your degree faster. And it definitely works out for people who have been in the field, who have worked in their field or have some type of knowledge of the field because you can basically test out of some things. Anywho, so um, you get a course mentor, not a course mentor, program mentor. You get a program mentor and that person is going to be with you for your whole entire time that you're at WGU. And they're there to motivate you, to give you any encouragement. They help you enroll for your classes and they help you stay on track as far as um, whatever your graduation goals are. So I have my um, program mentor, her name is Katie, she's sweet. We are talking again on the first, so I can enroll into my classes and start my classes on the first. And um, after you're accepted and everything, you'll get a welcome package, welcome box or whatever. And you get this. I'm not sure if everyone get the same exact thing, but I have this little um, cup and um, it has WGU and it says, I'm a night owl. And it has the little, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of bright, but it um, has a little slider lid so you can you know, open close. So it'd be perfect for some coffee if you are studying, trying to get these courses knocked out and you're not trying to go to sleep. So this would be perfect. And then it came in this box and it just says, I don't even know what to say. Oh, congrats on becoming WGU's newest night owl. And if you just haven't figured it out, there's their mascot is an owl. Anywho, on the inside, there's this little cute little um, do not disturb thing, you know, like at a hotel. 
do not disturb it says night owl testing stop and then on the other side it says do not disturb night owl at work so got a little door hanger thing which I probably won't use because my daughter is probably gonna take it out the door and throw it somewhere so it's cute though um, then it has a pamphlet that says congratulations on becoming a night owl and then it's just some things on what's your why and create a roadmap and build your team set priorities write it down like little cool little thing in here you can put um, little routines and you know whatever can help you be successful then is that it let's see oh this is the inside box I already took everything out but this is the inside of the box um oh okay yeah I forgot about this so and it's talking about the WGU gear um if you want to order you a WGU shirt you know you can go and it says like free shipping over $50 no code needed um oh you can you know tell your friend about WGU and then these are little stickers. I guess they're supposed to go on like your, your window of your car or something, but one says I'm a night owl and then one is all white and it has like an owl and it says WGU. But you probably can't tell because it's all white. Yeah, but it's white and it's just WGU. You can put this on your car if you want. Um, and then it comes with the dry erase board that has WGU on it and a dry erase marker. <laughs> But because you'll probably well, you'll need this for your math tests and everything because um, they're proctored and people watch you. Um, and speaking of, you need a webcam. And I ordered the one from WGU. I ordered it from their store so I can make sure that it's what they want and I ain't got no problems. Um, I thought I opened this. It must have sealed back up so I can show you what it looks like. <laughs> Give me a second. Take, take it a little minute. All right. So this is what it looks like. And it, low key though, I, I don't know how you set this up. I gotta, gotta figure that out before I have my first test. Um, Cause I use my MacBook and Hopefully it'll work with the little, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a little thing that you plug up into the MacBook to make the a USB port. Cause you know, they don't have USB ports no more in 2020. So you hook it up to that, it has directions. And if you got any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, you can call or email. Can you email? Oh. Um. Driver of Disney. You gotta call them. I hate talking to people on the phone. But you gotta call them if you need some help. Okay. So once I, um, what I do? Oh yeah. Once I figured out what all the courses I need, I made this little board. I made this board um, as like a motivation because me personally, I'm a visual learner. I'm a visual person period so i needed to see something because if i don't see no progress i'm gonna be sad i'm gonna be real sad so i made this little board uh is it a foam board yes it's a foam board okay so i ordered this foam board from michael's because they're doing curbside pickup you know because the whole coronavirus thing and I didn't want to go in nobody's store, so I ordered just this one board to get it delivered to my car when I pulled up. Was it the same day? It was the same day. I'm not trying to get sick, so I I ordered a phone board. Anywho, so yeah, on the phone board, I put the yellow ones here are the general classes. The pink ones are like my method classes, all the classes that are pertaining to my specific field, which is uh, elementary education. And then the blue is, oh wait, there it is. The blue is uh, PCE, which is preclinical experience. And that's, you know, in classroom thing, you know, uh, observing. And then the purples 
or DT, which are demonstrating teaching, or what is the other word for demonstrating teaching? I've been calling demonstrating teaching since I've been like, you know, looking in the WGU and I can't even think of what it's called. Student teaching? Was that what it was called? But you know what I'm saying. Those are the purple ones. So for this block right there, that block is the output, whatever course I'm currently working on in that block. This next block here will be what I have coming up next. And once I am done, they will go on this side as my completed side. So um, a couple of people who are in the group that I am in is called WGU Teaching College April 2020. Um, though like all the teachers who are starting in April, we have a group. And a, a lot of us meet our own, you know, vision board, goal board, or, you know, whatever. This is mine. There are different ones. Uh, I'll put a close-up picture over here so you can see it. But, um, yeah. So, so far I am very, very excited, especially since I don't have to be in school forever because I've been to school a couple of times and I just don't want to go forever. I just don't. And I want to finish before we leave here. Currently, I live in Virginia and we have about two, oh my God, we have about two more years here. We've been here almost a year. So we have two more years here. So I need to get this degree finished within that two years. So eh, fingers crossed, cause I don't wanna have to be working on schoolwork while we're moving. And no, especially if we end up going back overseas, I'm not trying to do that. So anyways, this will be, <laughs> this will be my little motivation. This will be my channel and I'll be documenting my journey when I actually start my classes on the first. You will know if I do a horrible job, you gonna know. And when I finally finish, you gonna know. So I'm just gonna, this is gonna be my channel for my teaching journey. Oh, this is a cute little thumbnail though. <laughs> Just my fro look cute today. So, anywho, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll be here for the journey and let's see what WGU has to offer and I hope it's the college for me. Bye.